제가 어제 미국에 있는 학생분하고 어, 대화를 할 기회가 있었는데요 어, 그분의 질문이 너무나 마음에 와 닿아서 그리고 많은 사람들이 이런 질문을 좀 많이 하거든요 제가 그래서 그 부분에 대해서 제 솔직한 답변을 한번 여러분들에게 들려드릴까 합니다 끝까지 잘 들어보세요 I'm very struggling with yeah. improving my English skill because yeah. um, when I live in Korea, oh, yeah. my English is not bad. I teach it my students sometimes in English, reading articles every day and every day and mm-hmm. research by mm-hmm. in English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But from now on here, I know that I am very weak at English, mm. all the area, mm. okay. <laughs> speaking, grammar, mm. and um, listening for everything so mm-hmm. i am trying to study with um, your lecture yeah. and uh, the other mm-hmm. newspaper mm-hmm. or yeah. some private lesson but uh, i am wondering about that how can i improve my english pronunciation and the uh, correcting grammar because well, I-, I know the mm-hmm. grammar by reading but yeah. when i speak in english I have a lot of mistakes. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> make a yeah, lot of, of course. Mistakes. There are four steps, right? When it comes to learning, mm-hmm. uh, there are four mm-hmm. steps. Uh, the first step is basically you don't even know what you don't know, right? You don't even know what you don't mm-hmm. know. And then once mm-hmm. you, uh, you know, once you decide to, oh, you know, I'm going to study English, then you're going to start, you know, studying grammar, memorizing vocabulary, words, <laughs> stuff like that, basics. You're trying to get your basics down. Then you're moving mm-hmm. on to second stage, which is, and you start to know that, oh, you know, I'm making a lot of mistakes. You know that. You're aware that mm-hmm. you're making a lot of mistakes. Yes. Then yes. your confidence goes down, right? You feel mm-hmm. like yeah. you're so incompetent. Definitely, yeah. yeah you're, you feel like you're not confident enough. You're not confident enough, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the stage where we call, Mm-hmm. Conscious incompetence. Conscious mm-hmm. incompetence. That's second stage, mm-hmm. right? Conscious mm-hmm. incompetence. Oh, I'm not good. Yes. I know that, right? You're studying harder, right? You're like uh, memorizing <laughs> idioms and you're having mm-hmm. a conversation with native yes, speakers, yes. you know, building yourself up and you're moving mm-hmm. on to the next level, which is mm-hmm. uh, conscious competence. So mm-hmm. when you speak and you're trying mm-hmm. to make a perfect sentence, you're trying to mm-hmm. squeeze your brain. You know, you're having mm-hmm. a headache because, you know, you, you got to mm-hmm. use your brain quite a lot. Yeah. So having a mm-hmm. conversation for one hour, two hours, and mm-hmm. you're speaking okay. Your, your writing mm-hmm. is okay. But you mm-hmm. feel really you got to squeeze your brain so much mm-hmm. that you're losing. You, you're like a draining. Mm-hmm. Your brain power yeah. is draining. That's mm-hmm. a third stage, which is... Yes, yes. Conscious competence. You feel confident. Conscious yeah, conscious mm-hmm. competence. <laughs> yeah, so okay. you, you feel confident. You, you feel competent. My English is pretty good, but mm-hmm. I got to work really hard to make my mm-hmm. English really good, right? Mm-hmm. That's third stage. Third stage. Final stage is basically, it's like a native English speaker, right? Mm-hmm. Like when you are speaking Korean, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. And you were born and mm-hmm. raised in South Korea for most of your life, right? Other than one year uh, in the States. Yes, yes. So your Korean just comes out naturally. You know, you don't have to think too much about what you're going to say. Yeah. You just focus on the content, right? Mm-hmm. Content. What, what, what are you going to talk about? Should I, am I going to talk about this movie? Am I going to talk about this topic? Am I going to talk about this? You're not thinking about the structure. You're not thinking about idioms. You're not thinking about what kind of, you know, like sentence structure I need to use in order to deliver my message. Mm-hmm. Your focus is all about content, right? Mm-hmm. That's the final stage, which is unconscious mm-hmm. competence. Unconscious, uh, unconscious competence. You don't have to think too much about it because, you know, it comes out mm-hmm. unconsciously, but you feel really mm-hmm. confident. You feel like mm-hmm. really competent. Mm-hmm. Does, does it mm-hmm. make sense to you? Now, yes, yes. you are at a stage where you don't have to use your brain to create sandwiches. Your focus is more about, mm-hmm. more about what should I deliver? What's mm-hmm. the content? Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, now I assume your stage is mm-hmm. maybe 2.5 to 3. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. stage 3. I think around stage three or stage 2.5, that's where mm-hmm. you stand. So if you want to mm-hmm. take it to the next level, which is a, mm-hmm. uh, the final stage, unconscious mm-hmm. competence, mm-hmm. you got to practice. <laughs> that's it. 
You gotta practice a lot, and you gotta be patient. There's only one way to. You gotta improve, pay. Yeah, yeah you no, gotta be patient. Mm -hmm. You gotta be patient. You gotta be mm -hmm. persistent. You gotta uh -huh. be passionate. Uh -huh. And you gotta push yourself. Okay. Building new skills or learning things can generally seem like a straightforward process. For the most part, you start off by not being very good at that thing, and then over time, you keep working at it and your competence grows. At face value, this might be how you think about it. But some theories have explained that our knowledge and skills go through a few levels of awareness and ability. This is something that can be easily understood by using the four stages of competence model that was developed in the 1970s. Think of learning English like growing a plant. If you water it a little every day, it grows better than giving it too much water just once. Practice English every day, even if it's just a little. And remember to enjoy the process. When you have fun learning, it becomes easier. Laugh at mistakes, be proud of progress, and keep going. English isn't just words, it's a key to a bigger world. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and enjoy the journey. You've got this.